if the RCC be used in your homes needs to be checked, then what you have to do is a button is present above the RCCB. On pressing this button, you can check this RCCB. But I never used to check RCCB like this. What I do is to check this RCCB, I use this lamp. So by using this lamp, how you can check the RCCB will be discussed in this video. This video will be short, but there is a lot you can learn from this video. So friends, let's start the video. This device which you are looking at is known as RCCB. Full form of RCCB is Residual Current Circuit Breaker. Some of you may didn't know that why RCCB is used. For your information, RCCB is used for protection from earth fault. There is an incoming power supply in your home that is phase supply and neutral supply. Connect the phase supply where this one number terminal is present. Connect the wire here. You can see here N is written. Here you have to connect the neutral power supply. So we provided the incoming power supply to RCCB. Power supply is to be provided at upper terminals. From output terminals of RCCB, you have to connect load. It means the whole power supply required in your home must go through this RCCB. For now, I am connecting a lamp as a load. Both the wires of the lamp, that is neutral supply wire and phase supply wire, both of the wires is to be connected at output terminals of RCCB. Here also keep one thing in mind that you can see here N is written and here 2 is written. Where N is written, connect neutral supply wire and phase supply wire is to be connected at two number terminal. So only this much connection is required for single phase RCCB. Now I will discuss where this RCCB is used. If there is earth fault occurring in your home, then this RCCB in this case provides protection. Earth fault means this phase supply or this neutral supply is somehow connected with earthing wire. So if phase supply or neutral supply is connected with body of the machines, then it is known as earth fault. Now you know that if phase supply is connected with an object and if we unknowingly touch that object then we may get in contact with electric shock. To prevent this electric shock we use this RCCB in electrical connection. How this RCCB provides protection is already explained in a video along with every detail. You can watch that video. Now if you want to check that the RCCB installed in homes is proper or faulty can be checked through three methods. First one is simple that just press this button and your RCCB will trip. If on pressing this button RCCB does not trip then you can conclude that RCCB used in your home is faulty. So almost everyone knows how to check RCCB with this button. Main point is that how to check RCCB through this lamp. If you want to check RCCB through lamp then you have to observe leakage current. Like here it is written I delta N equals to 0.03 ampere. It means this RCCB I have now exceeds 30 mA leakage current then in this condition this RCCB will trip. Now if I want to check this RCCB through lamp then current flows inside the lamp must be more than 30 mA. If current rating of lamp is low then you cannot check this RCCB. Current rating of this lamp is more than 30 mA so let us learn how to check. As I told you before that by pressing this button you can check that RCCB is proper or faulty. Second way is this lamp. The two wires of the lamp, you can see two wires are here connected to lamp. Connect one of these wires with output terminal of the RCCB. I connected the wire at phase terminal. This second wire is to be connected with neutral terminal to connect with input neutral power supply. One wire at output and one wire at input is to be connected. So I am connecting at input side. You can see that this lamp turned off and along with this RCCB got tripped. You can see power supply is available. Lamp is glowing but RCCB got trip. Let us see one more time. What I did is connected one wire at output terminal of RCCB and another wire is connected at input side with neutral terminal. Now you will see this lamp will glow little bit and RCCB will trip. You just saw RCCB got trip. This is the first way to check through this lamp. There is one more way to check your RCCB through this lamp and always use this way to check the RCCB whenever you want to check your RCCB. Earthing present in your home, for now I have this switchboard and in this switchboard at this bigger pin inside, earthing wire is connected. I am turning this on and the neutral wire of lamp is connected with earthing and this phase wire of lamp is to be connected with this phase terminal. This lamp must glow if earthing is proper. You can see lamp is glowing, this means earthing is available. 
Now what you have to do is connect one wire of lamp with the earthing and another wire is to be connected with output terminal here. But before this, turn on this RCCB. I turned on this and lamp is glowing. Now as soon as I connect the wire with this output terminal, our lamp will trip. See, we just saw that RCCB got tripped. Let us see one more time. When I touch wire here, again RCCB trips. So this way of checking RCCB through earthing is the best method of checking. In this method, we check our RCCB and along with earthing in our homes is proper or not can also be checked. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then press on like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.